Hey guys, Spartan 117 W here, and uh, I was lucky enough to come by here and visit Code Red Headsets in San Diego. Now, as you can see, I'm actually running one of them right now. This is the CQB. I had a chance to run this at GamePod Combat Zone, as well as the Recruit, but there's a couple others, but we'll get to those in a second. But uh, as, starting with the CQB, it's a really nice setup. Now, you can run it with a helmet, you can run it with a hat. As you can see, I'm running it with a hat. Uh, you can also run it with a mask as well, depending on what type of mask you're using. More than likely, a half mesh mask will probably work the best. Now, what's great is it's very adjustable. I have it adjusted to one of the smaller settings to fit my head. Um, but it has a very flexible, very high quality boom mic as well as a speaker uh, setup up, up here in the headset. Uh, one thing one things that's very um, good to know about is that you can run the cable in a bunch of different configurations. I actually have mine routed through the vest, so that way you can have it nice and secure out of the way. And just so you guys know, the cables are Kellar line, so definitely going to prevent against snag hazards while you're running through the field, whether it's at GamePod, CQB City, or at Balahack Airsoft. And as you can see, I have mine set up to the radio here. Definitely really good way to run it. Uh, I have mine set up on my JPC, but it's definitely a really good base setup, and it's actually based on a, uh, uh, it's essentially a sport line version of a pro line headset. Uh, the pro line headsets are a little bit more, but what's great about Code Red is they've acknowledged that Airsoft is as a viable market, and they're bringing a bunch of their pro line setups and basically making these very high quality, but yet at a very good value headsets, including the CQP. Next thing we're going to go over is this, which is the Signal 21. Uh, this is more like if you're running like a duty setup, you want something real simple, cut straight to the chase, more or less. It has a very nice high quality uh, cable here, and as you can see, it's a very simple design. Because it's simple, it's also going to be really rugged. I mean, if you're going to an American Wilson game, you're going to be able to beat this up. Uh, it actually has a very simple PTT button right here, and this is what it's going to be your speaker and your microphone, it's all in one unit. But in case you want to be a little quieter, you can also run any one of the, um, uh, the, the slimmer uh, silence or silence uh, headsets that they carry out of here. Uh, it's basically more or less like a clear headset. Very similar, it's very similar to the Recruit. Uh, but make sure you guys check those out as well. But this is definitely a good setup if you want to run uh, a duty setup more or less. Okay, going over the Recruit. Uh, I ran this one at CQB City as well, just because I wanted something a little bit more low pro. A little bit less of a gear signature, I guess you could say. As you can see, it has a clear um, headpiece or earpiece right here. It goes over the ear. It's a really nice design, and you can even swap out the earpiece itself for a molded earpiece for better security while you're running around the field. This right here is designed so it clip anywhere around your neck, or like on the base of the neck, with like on a combat shirt or on a BDU top or something like that. That way, it kind of gives you a little bit extra security while you're running around. And it has the PTT system right here with a very uh, flexible, very um, good attachment system right here. So basically, it'll clip on your gear, your molly, your vest, ain't gonna come off, and you have a nice, solid PPT, very tactile clip. And of course, you have your connectors as well. Definitely a whole ton of connectors available. So if you have, you know, whether it's a Bayo Fang or you're using Motorola, there's something out there that they carry for you at a very good value. Moving on, we have the EXP. Now, this was designed for protection detail, essentially, uh, it was designed to be a low-profile kit. You wear it under some clothing. If you're playing airsoft and you're perhaps role-playing as a PSD, this is a perfect setup. Um, it has a very thin, low-pro microphone here, so basically underneath like a lapel or something like that is where you use it. It has a clear earpiece uh, that has the same features as the other, so you can use those uh, molded earpieces and uh, attach those on there as well. And it has this... Uh, a little long cable here so you can route it through and have it nice and secured. It has a redundant PTT button here. But what's really cool about this, and one thing that's really awesome for us airsofters, is being able to play and having a PTT on the gun itself. So you can be playing, you can be, you know, fighting through the objective, you can be pulling security, and you won't have any trouble. I mean, the PTT is right here, so you can be on target, doing what you need to do, but still being able to talk to friends. That concludes the first segment of this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned because part two is coming your way.
James C. Burns and play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.